Well, Emily's back for another lesson. It's good to see that you haven't run away and found another instructor yet. Um, especially as you're being filmed and everyone's watching you, but you seem to be taking okay. I know it can be nerve wracking, can't it? Mm, a little bit. How are you finding the videos? It's all right. When I kind of just, if I just ignore everything, that's got all the cameras and the microphone, yeah. then I'm kind of all right. But when I, I'm aware of it, that's when I start to get more shaky. Okay. That's usually all right to you pretend it exists. Yeah, you seem to be okay. You seem to be quite natural on camera, actually. You're not, you're not too shy. I try. Put on a little act. It's my drama, GCSE, coming in clutch here. You did drama, did you? Yeah, regrettably, but I did. So now I'm just, I put on a mask, you know, just pretend to be okay. Oh, okay, so I can't see what's going on underneath. This yeah, is exactly. An act. Yeah, everything's an act, you know. Well, today I'm going to try and help you learn junctions. Okay. Now, there's two kinds of junctions, joggers and walkers. Mm -hmm. If you learn how to jog and you learn how to walk, it doesn't matter what the junction is, you should, well, I wouldn't say you should be able to do it, but you will approach it well and give mm. yourself a good opportunity to deal with it. Okay. So a jogger is a clutch up junction mm -hmm. where you can see early and make an early decision. And a walker is a clutch down junction. Where right. you've got to get close to the line to see if it's safe to go. So I'm going to talk you through it. Don't know how long it will take you to learn it, but we'll see. doesn't matter. Don't rush. Okay. Do things at your own pace. Mm -hmm. And I may use the brake. Okay. to assist you because if you get the correct speed for these then it's easy if you come in too fast then you struggle okay so do you think you remember how to move away yeah right, we'll do that i'll give you a talk for at the junction okay. you can try to move away on your own mm -hmm. see if you remember but at the junction i'll tell you exactly what you need to do just wait for my instruction for each step okay okay Let's start the engine in that the wrong way that's the wrong way that's off What's it saying there? Okay, you have to give me a second, it's early in the morning. That's all right. There we go. I'll turn the cruise control off just in case you knock that on when you're driving. That might confuse you. Okay, okay. Right, I want clutch down and yep. brake on. Okay. And then I can do first gear mm -hmm. and push that down. And we don't need a hill start. And then I give it a little bit of gas. You did roll a tiny bit there, but it stopped, so we are okay. And I, I mean, felt that, a, I was about to a panic. slight dip in the road there. Oh, right. If, if it does start rolling, that's why you keep your foot over the brake, you can always press it again. Ah, okay. But it can happen if you've got just a tiny little bump in the road, because it's not a smooth road here. Yeah. So maybe okay. a bit more, what was it we, you said last time? Old person hearing, didn't you? Come on, old person hearing for the... Like that? Yeah. A bit yeah. too much, I think. It's okay. Once you lift the clutch, it brings those revs down straight away anyway. Oh, well. Yeah, I said old man hearing or old people hearing and everyone was like, oh my God, I can't believe she said that. I just thought I it was really funny. I didn't you say it. I thought it was quite funny. Not until I edited it. I thought, cheeky. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought it was quite funny. Yeah, it was. Oh, okay, to go. Fair play to you. Yeah, come on. You can go. That's it. This is a bumpy road, oh my God. Yeah, you can't do anything about the bumps. Don't worry about the bumps. Okay. You have immunity from them. Just don't hit the curb. I'm not. <laughs> I won't let you anyway. That's, that's a bump we don't want to hit. I'm not hitting the curb. There's a nasty one coming up soon, actually. But ignore it. Just carry on at your normal speed. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you get second gear? Can you do that? Good. And this is the nasty one. At this speed, see? It's not so bad if you're doing seven miles now. You hit that at 20, you know about it. It's like a speed bump. Is it? It's like, a, yeah, something's happening. The road's sinking away. Oh, God. So a little bit further from the curb, and start to aim past the parked car. If you come off the yep. gas now, cover the brake and clutch. I'll tell you what to do. Going left at the end of the road. Yep. So mirrors, signal, left. Return to your side of the road. We're going to take our time. Get the clutch down now. And use the clutch brake down. to get the car almost stopped by the mouth of the junction. So a bit more brake. I'll help you a little bit. Off the brake now, this speed. this speed. Now you can get round the bend. That's good. First gear. And now you're ready to go. Yep. You can use gas and bite point when you know it's safe. So start checking. If you think it's safe, use gas and bite point to continue. Safe. No yep. one's coming. Keep checking until you're moving. That's good. And keep it on your half of the road. There is a car coming, isn't there? Good. Like how you're leaning forwards, not being a cauliflower. You're trying to see the road. Yeah. Now you can relax. That's good. Now we did stop. When you get yeah. better, we won't stop. We'll just keep rolling, check and carry on. 
Okay. But that low speed gives you time to do what you need to do. Yeah, like change the gear. Remember your mirrors to move out, that's it. And we're gonna take the next road on the left. On the left. So it's mirrors signal. And this one we're gonna jog. Jog is clutch up. Clutch up. We don't have to give way at the line. Okay. Anyone crossing the road? No. So we can roll in there. We've got a parked car on the other side of the road though. Yeah. So steer into your half, cover the brake and clutch in case you have to stop. Someone could be coming out of here. Mm. Right, there isn't, so you're good. Good, you're on your side. This is a big improvement. Big improvement with your steering. And then cover the gas and you can rest your left foot and carry on. Okay. There we go. Emily has had a lesson with me since her last video where we have practiced what she has learnt. A bit further from the curb, please. Okay. Just to give her time to learn what she's learnt and get better at it. But now the goal is to try and get you doing these junctions. Yeah. Um, not completely independently, but be able to approach them knowing what you've got to do. Mm. And hopefully I can take away some of the help. You're in the middle of the road at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, slightly. So show me them your cars. half. You've corrected that pretty quickly. Well done. You are getting a lot better. So you did go off into the middle, but now mm. you sorted it out straight away. Now you're in your half. You can see far now, so you can use a bit more power. You can go faster if you want. If you can get second gear, that'd be great, because that'll help us learn how to go down into a walk, the clutch down junction. Because you're rarely going to be in first gear when you're, when you're driving. So end of the road left. Mirrors signal left, cover brake and clutch. Get the car very slow, so clutch down so it doesn't stall. We want to be nearly stopped but not stopped. So off the brake now. It's a bit early, but that's okay. It's all right to be early for now. Pop it in first gear. We're probably, probably going to have to push the car a bit. So press yeah, the right. gas and lift the clutch a bit. Just give a car a push. Clutch down again quick. There you go. Then it will roll. Yeah. Get round the bend. Don't worry about your decision yet. Don't want to think about that. Just try and do this bend. That's the tricky bit. Now you've got your bend and your pedals are set to go. Start yeah. checking to see if you can go. Can you see past this truck? No. So very slowly now, just let it roll slowly. Maybe give the car another little push to improve your view. Can you see? Yeah. Anyone coming? No. We've got to go anyway now because we are committed, aren't we? If someone was coming and they were committed as well, we might even have to reverse. Right. Because we couldn't see past that truck. It's parked right next to the junction there. Not mm -hmm. sure if the camera would have picked that up because it is off to the side. Yeah. But you can relax now. It was definitely meaning you could not see. Try and get a bit quicker and see if you can get the second gear again. You've practiced your gear changes last lesson. Yeah. That's it. Just remember those mirrors when you're changing your position as well if you can. Sorry. That's okay. No need to apologize. Clutch up gently and cover brake and clutch for the next junction. Yeah. End of road left. So mirror signal left, clutch down, get it walking really slow with the brake. Back to your side of the road, someone could come in here. Just Make sure you go here. Oh, Stop my car way. now. Come off okay. the pedals. We're, Sorry. In a, we're in a bit of a dodgy situation now. So I'm trying get you to avoid that here. car and I couldn't get around again, so I was a bit That's panicking. Okay, don't worry. I'll bring you back to your half. You don't want to be on the wrong side of the road mm. as you get near the end of the road. Okay. So I'm just going to stop you now at the end of the road here. Now the clutch is down. Okay. Just trying to push it down as well. Can you find it? Yep. You got it? Got it. You put your foot on the brake as well. There you go. All right. Your car. Okay. Fully your car now. I'm off the pedals. Yep. When it's safe you can use gas and clutch to move away. Okay. So I get sure off the brake? Cause... Well, have a look. Is it going to roll? No. Just a little bit. Did it? It is. No, it's not. Oh, no, no, it's not. When I look at the front, it looks like it's rolling, but look at the side, it's not. Yeah. Okay. There's no one coming. There's no one overtaking us. So think a little fine. bit of gas first. Keep checking as you do your pedals. That's it. Another final check. There we go, keep it on your half, and then we'll pull over yep. at the side of the road, near this wall or near the grass, one of the two. Near this wall. Just check your mirrors again. Clutch down. And make sure you stop before the driveway if you're here now. Good. What next? Do we to secure the car? Yeah, to park. That's it. If you stop at the side of the road, do secure the car okay. whenever you pull over. There we go. Um, and I'll show you as well so you can see that's your distance. I'm getting better at that. You are. That is, is getting a lot more consistent. If you can make it a little bit closer. Okay. Emily has about that. So she's just within the drains width. Work on that a little bit, make it a bit closer. But it's certainly not bad for where you are and you are getting better and more consistent and straight, which is nice. Oh, yeah. So, 
Why do you think I took control of the car back there? Because I was in the wrong side of the road and then I couldn't, I wasn't getting back to my side quick enough. Yeah, you, you stopped at an inopportune, inopportune place. You don't want mm. to stop there. Um, so you just use the brake too much. You want to let right. the car roll and you've gone past a parked car near the end of the road. Yeah. So you want to get back to our half of the road as early as we can in case someone comes into that junction from around that bend that was in front of us. Right, yeah. Um, so you want the car to be slow, but you don't want it to stop. And that's mm. just the control of the brake. Okay. Um, but don't worry about that. We'll work on that. It's a bit tricky because of where the parked cars are, but yeah. this is a good place to learn this. Okay. Um, the reason why that is is because you've got left, 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 yeah. left, close together. So you get to actually do the junctions, prepare the walk as much as you can. It's hard mm -hmm. to find the perfect place. If it was perfect, we'd have less parked cars. Yeah. It's a bit more here than usual. Um, probably because it is just people, for work. Yeah, people bank aren't. Holiday. Yeah, it's bank holiday Monday today. I actually didn't realise when I booked you a lesson. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's more cars on the road as usual as less people are at work. But I think you can do it. So, what do you think the walk is? How do you walk? From what I've just showed you there, what's the mm. purpose of walking? I think it's so you're going slow at like a major junction. Mm -hmm. So you have time to put into first gear, um, check around you. Make sure it's safe to go, and so if you're going if you're going quite fast, you don't have time to do everything. Like that you're going to rush, and it might be dangerous. Exactly. And plus, you're able to stop a lot easier if you're going like two miles per hour. And the goal is is that you have your pedals ready mm. to stop at the line, and to go at the line mm. when you make your decision. Ah, okay. Um, if I don't help people do this, if they try and do this on their own, they're usually ready to stop at the line by slamming on the brakes. But right. if they decide to go, they're not actually ready to go. So they mm. think, oh yeah, I can go. Then they try to prepare the car. Then they do their gear and they haven't steered around the mouth. So now they're coming out straight into the road mm. and the car rolls into the road and coasts into the road, which is not safe. Because now yeah. you're sitting duck with no power in the middle of the road. Do you know what coasting is? Is that, you know, a Mario Kart where you're like, you go, wee you um, put the brake on and then you're like, Put, not you turn spinning. The wheel. It, coasting isn't spinning. No, you get like the big power up and then you go really fast. When you mm. like, dr is it like, is that drifting around the? You know? Not drifting, no. Oh, not sliding or drifting. Not not power up. Coasting is when you have no power to the wheels. Right. You so coasting is clutch down or neutral, mm. no power to the wheels. Coasting is a necessary part of driving. Every time you change gear, you coast. Oh, right. When you are walking, when you are really slow, mm. you're coasting most of the time. Your clutch is down, the car's rolling, you lift the clutch up to give the car a little push to go a bit faster, then you clutch down just to let it roll slowly. So mm. coasting is a necessary part of driving. You do it when you're slow, you do it when you change gear. Right. And you, uh, just before you stop, you often need to be coasting too. Oh, okay. Um, but coasting can be bad. Right. Coasting's bad when you need power. So coasting's bad when you cross a giveaway line and you haven't got any power to continue and you're still slowing down or you're just drifting. Right. Um, coasting's also bad if you're going downhill. It can be bad because then you're relying on your brakes to keep you slow. Whereas if you keep your clutch up, your engine will help keep you slow. So you right. won't overheat the brakes. Mm. Okay. So we're going to practice this now and okay. um, we'll come back later. Obviously, it'll be a moment for you but we'll see how Emily progresses. I would like to try and get jogging in as well. So jogging okay. or clutch up is when we're in third gear or above and you've got to slow the car down, get to second gear, get the clutch up smoothly and then take a junction on the side or right. just a more open junction where you can see it's safe before you get close to the line. Okay. Okay, so let's turn the cameras off then. Yeah. We're all done. Hi, Jet. Yeah. Hello. Part three. Oh, oh no, part two, part two. <laughs> of Emily's junction lesson. So we've just done another round of the block and the plan was, was to wait until Emily could do it more or less on her own and then turn the cameras on again. But I thought actually, it's probably more interesting to see you learn how to do it and the problems mm. along the way. Um, so I'm gonna turn the cameras on on this third round we're doing. Okay. And you can see the errors, you can see the errors that Emily may be making, which may be the errors you're making and Quite often they're common errors. This isn't the first time Emily's done junctions. As we've been practicing steering, she's been doing junctions anyway because it's impossible not to do any. 
But now the goal is to find a way that you can do them without my help yeah. or with very minimal help. So last time, the problem was you let the car coast over the line. Yeah. So we got to the line, your clutch is down and you decided it's safe to go, but then the car's rolling over the line now and you did that twice. Yeah. You need to get your pedals ready before the line or stop at the line. Okay. Don't allow the car to roll into the road because this, this is where coasting is bad. When mm. people say coasting is bad, this is what they mean because you've got no power and now you're sitting in the road, aren't you? Yeah. And that's why you want to be really slow before the line. So not only do you have time to steer, change gear and check to make sure it's safe, but you have time to get your gas and your clutch up to the bike point before you cross the line. If you think you're not going to make that, stop at the line. Okay. The goal is to keep it rolling, but if not, do stop. You ready? Yeah. Let's try. Okay. I'll give you help again. It's the speed, it's getting the correct speed. That's the hard bit. Mm. It's knowing how slowly you need to go to give yourself enough time at your current level. As you get better, you'll do it quicker. So okay. you can move away when you're ready. Yeah. Good. Your steering's improved immensely. Cheers. Come off the clutch and aim for the gap. Last lesson, we were mostly focusing on steering. Mm -hmm. uh, steering hasn't come naturally to Emily. It's nothing to do with her ability to steer. It's to do with her natural reaction of where she wants to look. Emily wants to look at hazards, not where she's going. And that's quite common. It's a very common problem with learner drivers. They're looking at all the hazards. They're not looking where they're going, so they don't steer in a good direction. But now you are actually looking most of the time where you're going. You're more targeted. Yeah. So now you should be looking next to that Fiesta and aiming for that. It's a cover braking clutch. It's a little bit downhill, this one. Makes it a little bit trickier. Going left at the end. So it's mirror signal, good. Now try and get the car walking by the mouth of the junction. The mouth is where the junction does that. So clutch down, a bit more brake. Bit more brake, I might help, not yet. Off the brake, off the brake. Right. There you go, first gear. I didn't help, you did that. Steer around the bend. Before that line, you've got to stop or have gas and clutch. So stop or go. Stop. Good decision. Get your gas ready, if they're turning in now actually, aren't they? So yep. when it's safe to go, your it's clutch safe. bite point will make you move. Just check again before you move, it will get old. You want to keep checking oh, until it. the car moves. Okay. Have confidence to move out with cars on the other side of the road. You've got to get it in your half. If you keep it in your half here, it doesn't matter. Really good. So much better that turn. If you're not nearly hitting that curb, mm -hmm. going into your half. So go around this span nice and early. And we'll turn into the next road on the left. So it's mirrors, signal left. Clutch up or down for this junction? Up. Good. Anyone crossing the road? No. You can see the silver car, can't you? Yeah. So you cover that clutch, keep it in your half. Cover the brake as well. Be ready to stop. Yep. Keep it in your half, a little bit more steering, that's it. Oh, no, you can go. There was a car coming, but they've just pulled over. If they came down here, we'd either have to help them into that gap yep. or help them finish. Mm. Either way, we'd have to slow down and possibly stop yeah. to allow them time to get to a space. Okay. So come off the clutch yep. and you can use the gas and try and, if you can, try and go a bit faster and get to second gear when you think it's safe to. Look, now you go faster, otherwise we'll confuse them because they'll think we're giving way. Okay. Uh, focus on your position. Most learner drivers struggle with this bend and it's because they look too far, they look over the bend and they cut the corner. Get the clutch back up to engage that gear so that gear is actually doing some work. And you are a little bit in the middle. I think you might be looking yeah. around towards those, towards those vans. Slightly, yeah. Yeah, try looking at your position. Okay. Look up briefly to check for hazards, mm. but look down for your position. When you're on bends, you look close. When you're on straight, you can, you can look far okay. on straights. So at the end of the road, left. Good, you've done mirror signals. Starting to get more independent already. Covering, well, I wouldn't have gone straight for clutch down. Oh, I'd use the engine braking. A bit more brake now then. A bit more brake. Don't steer towards the curb. Off the brake. And now it's a bit slow, aren't we? Yeah. So first gear, clutch down and first gear. And now I'll give the car a push. Gas first and lift the clutch. Now clutch down. There we go. Signal again and try and do your steering. Don't cross the end of the road, the crack at the end of the road, until you have got your pedals ready. 
Here, actually, there's an exception. You can roll out slowly because you've got to slowly roll out to this fan, haven't you? Yeah. Is it safe? Can't quite see. Yes, it is. And our gas and bite point to continue. So, yeah, you do generally want to have your clutch to the bite point when you cross the end of the road. Mm. But in that situation, it was different because there was another hazard you were dealing with. So yeah. you still wanted to walk really slowly and mm. coast to check around the van. You didn't want to accelerate at that point. That wouldn't have been safe. Can you get second? I don't want to around this, but okay. I'm going to wait until I'm more confident around the junctions. No problem. Because it's trying to get back into my Remember side. Remember, your mirrors of people passing you. Centre yeah. right mirror now. End of road left. Keep it on your side of the road as much as you can to cover brake and clutch. Get back to your side of the road as soon as you pass this car because the end of the road is here. Clutch down. Keep it slow, but don't let it stop. Bit more steering. Signal on again. And gas and bite point before it stops. Keep it rolling forwards. It might roll back a tiny bit. It's a bit of a bump there. Or oh, you've caught it. Well done. Keep the car rolling as you look. Can you look? Yep. Good. That's it. Well done. And pull over next to the wall. Okay. Remember your mirrors, just in case it's changed. And only stop when you're happy with your position, but try and do it before the drop curve. I'm just going to push you away a little bit. Okay. And you stop before this drop curve now. So we're about to touch the curb there, I think. Okay. So just try to look out the front window. Remember how far that curb is at the bottom of the window. It's mm. probably around here for you. Yeah. And try not. Like just in the little bump. That's right. Try not to let it get closer than that. Okay. Secure the car. So we've done another <sighs> round. You can rest. It's good to have rest, plenty of stops. Mm -hmm. It's good practice for your stopping, mm -hmm. but also gives you a break. And you can think about it. What do you think you struggle with? I think I struggle. Mm, I've got to think about that. Quite a few things. One is like confidence because when I, I don't mean about life in general, I'm, I'm more talking about driving. I know. I think confidence with that road we just did, like getting back into my side, I don't feel confident I'm able to get back quickly. Okay, why is that? Because of the car, the white car we've got to pass. Yeah, because the white car around the end. I know obviously I have to face that a lot when I actually drive, yeah. but I just don't feel comfortable enough yet to maybe go in second gear, gear get around it, then stop to first. So I think I struggle with. That's, that's not a big Doing deal because the second gear is on the straight before that mm -hmm. meandering slalom of parked cars yeah. and you'll be slowing down at that stage. You may even have to get the clutch down if you've got too slow for a second anyway. So second mm -hmm. gear is more for the straight before. Right. Um, you don't want to drive down the road in first gear often very long. Some cars, first gear is very hard to control. It's very jerky when you use the gas. Oh, right. This car's quite nice. Mm -hmm. So in first gear, you can use the gas and it's quite smooth, but other cars are like, look, look, like this. Oh, right. It does depend on the car. Newer cars are generally better at that. Mm. So you do want to be in second if you can be. Okay. And you can turn, uh, change back down to first. You said you are afraid about getting back to your half of the road, though. Yeah. That's, what, that's the thing that's stuck in my head there. Is that because you're passing that white car? Yeah, so I'm scared about that my back end's going to smack it or I'm going to go too far into the curb, not straight enough enough. And then when I try and steer again, it's going to go... When you... Okay, so you come up alongside mm -hmm. the car. You're not completely next to it, are you? No. So you can start to steer a little bit before you've passed it without mm. hitting it. Okay. Um, the best thing to do is aim for the space after the car. Keep a bit of distance from them as you pass. Mm. And when you have lined up with them, that's when you should be able to start right. coming back. Don't wait until you're fully past them because then you're going to come back a car length too late. Yeah. If you are very close to them, then you want to be more careful about when you start to steer. Yeah. Then you might want to go half a car in front and then start to steer. Okay. Once the object has passed your seatbelt, mm. there's almost no chance you're hitting it, even if you're really close. Okay. Once it's at your rear wheel, then you're not going to hit it. Mm. And you think your rear wheel is just sort of under those seats there, just a bit behind them oh, actually. Yeah, yeah. So it's not far away. Once it's near your seatbelt, you are almost there, aren't you? But you're not going to be that close. You're not going to be so close that the moment you steer and hit it you're going to have some distance okay so you do have a little bit of margin uh, for error there anything else you find difficult keeping my lane sometimes i'll kind of when i when i change the gear i'll be trying to steer with one hand oh and then that. i kind of i thought focusing. i thought you meant at the end of the road i was going to say you're getting so much better at that oh, no, you're get, i was going to say you're getting fussy but no okay you're talking about steering and changing gear at the same time. Yes, yeah, so steering and changing gear at the same time. I sometimes all like slowly kind of coast off a little bit towards the uh, 
middle a bit too close to the uh, curb. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be doing that. It's just when I'm trying to do that at the same time in one hand, I'm thinking about two different things. And then sometimes I can slightly go a bit off. My advice for that is to have patience with yourself. Okay. Because you're getting better at it. Okay. Just, just leave it a bit more time. Keep trying. You're going to get better. I, I haven't really got much else I can say there. Anything else? No. I think it's, it's One from you're... me. Yeah. Speed. When you're approaching the end of the road, make sure you're focusing on how much you're braking. Don't allow the mm. car to get too slow and stop before the end. Okay. But also don't allow it to come in too quickly. As you're approaching the end of the road, your main focus wants to be your control of that brake pedal, how much you're mm. slowing down. And cover the brake and clutch first before you use them. Don't just push the clutch down straight away. Because when you cover the brake and clutch, the car starts slowing down. It will slow down to the bottom of the gear and it will right. start pulling you along. If it's pulling you along and you want to slow down, yeah, you will need the clutch down. But cover mm. first and you'll find the car will do quite a bit of the speed for you and you'll find it easier. Okay. And then when your clutch is down and you are braking at that really low speed, try not to let it stop. Okay. But also try and be slow early by the beginning of the mouth yeah or before the beginning of the mouth just before so that you've got the mouth of the junction right that distance to try and do your steering do your gear do your check get your gas and clutch ready then cross the line right okay without having to stop at the line oh. every time it's a giveaway mm. line not a stop line so if we can keep it rolling that is good okay okay so how long has this camera been running for a long time probably. 13 minutes i'll let you decide do you want to Show everyone this attempt, or do you want to have some more practice on your own? I might as well. The camera's already on. Might yeah? as well. Go on in. Let's do it. Okay. I'm worried about them in front, though, right I now. I wouldn't. I'll drive past them, and when you get going, you know, then they can know you're coming, and then they can stay out your way. Okay. If they're going to run in front of you, then stop. But you don't yeah. want to be sitting there worried that there's people on the pavement. Still drive if they then become a problem, but definitely signal. Well, I'm going to be coming out. But only one, not now, once you've decided you're going to go. So you've okay. checked, you've got your pedals ready, done your blind spot. If I'm going to move now, then you signal. And then they know. But that's a good example of where you need a signal. What do I do now? They aren't looking at me. Lift the clutch up. Okay, cl cancel the signal. Because the problem there is you've signaled, but then you haven't gone. You should right. signal when you've decided to go. Okay. Just start moving. Start moving towards the space. Okay. And if we need to stop when we get there, we'll stop when we get there. Okay. So indicate now you're going to move. Yep. That's it. Start moving towards the gap. Right. You're indicating they can see you coming. Stay slow. Look at the space. You've got space. Off the clutch, off the gas. And just drive past them. See? Okay. Easier than it looks, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the space, not the problem. If you're slow and you're going towards them slowly, they've got time to see you coming. You can't drive with the attitude, oh, there's pedestrians on the pavement or getting in that car, I'm just going to wait until everybody's gone and then I'll get going. I know new drivers often want to do that. Yeah, it's nice that way. A way through, go through and ask. Ask, drive up to the space you want to use and get there and then they'll be like, all right, he wants to come through or she wants to come through. Let's move out of the way and help traffic go yeah. instead of standing in the road. But if you're not moving, they're going to continue to stand in the road. Yeah. It's a new driver. I wanted to just have the road to myself when everyone to go away. Oh. If that was the case, you wouldn't learn what you mm. need to do. So it is good we do have hazards to deal with. Just not too many that yeah. you're overwhelmed. So end of the road left, cover, brake and clutch. Aim for the space back on your half of the road. You start steering back now, so really far from that parked car, a bit okay. too far. Clutch down. Now focus on braking. Really get it slow, but not stopped. Indicate, even slower if you can. Off the brake, not too much, and then steer. So it's that, that's what you want to work on, that level of braking you're doing. It's a bit too proddy there. Okay. First gear, gas and bike point, and keep it rolling if no one's coming. No one's coming. Yep. Another check, that's check. it. Make sure your checks are new. You notice I don't check until later on. Yeah. That's because I'm focusing on other things. I'm focusing on you and what you're doing, and I'll check when it's needed, just before we go, mostly. Yeah. Shit, I remember this time. Yeah, you did. Well done. Come off that clutch, though. Next road left. So that was good. We got ready before the line and you kept it rolling. It was really slow, yeah. but that's a good step. That's a big step. With practice, okay. you'll get quicker. Keep it in your half. You're already quicker at steering. Look at your hands. The way you're keeping it in your lane so much better. This is really nice. Well done. 
And what you should have been doing there, I forgot to tell you, mm. covering that brake and clutch. Oh yeah, sorry. Until you, not now, because you can see it safe, but you couldn't yeah. see if anyone needed to finish passing these cars. Yeah. So you needed to be able to stop immediately there. Okay, sorry. So take your foot away from the clutch now and see if you can get second gear on the straight. It's a bit of a bend, but it, it's kind of straight enough. Yeah. And now the tricky bend, if you look round that bend, you'll be in the middle of the road. Everybody I teach does this here. Everybody, M nearly everybody. Nearly if you everybody. look in front of you, you stay in your lane. Glance around the road to see what's coming, but focus on your position in front of you. Really good, A excellent. Couldn't do that better myself. You're hyping me up too much. Anyone overtaking you? I'm just telling you the truth. No. Okay, so now you gotta work on your speed. This is the bit you're finding difficult. How mm. much the brake? So cover brake and clutch. See what the car's doing first before you act. Okay. Mirror signal left. See, now it's gonna start pulling you along. Let's get that clutch down, get it a bit slower. Even slower. Off the brake now, but keep it covered. Slow down a bit more and steer. And try and steer around this bend. Keep checking. Now you've got to let, let the car coast forwards a bit here to see past yeah. this van truck. No one's coming You never way. know what they are. They're kind of like a van and a truck together. Stop Just check again and make sure no one's overtaking you and keep yeah. the car rolling. That's it. Now you check to see if it's safe. And it is, isn't yeah. it? We've forgotten to do something though, haven't we? Gas and bite point. Hold the clutch steady. Hold yeah. it there. Don't come off the clutch yet. Okay. Don't come off the clutch yet. Okay. Now, clutch down. I'm just going to stop you because it looks like they want to get into here. Okay. I was thinking we need to go in that gap on the left. Right. I didn't realise they were trying to get in there until okay. it was a bit too late. First gear now. The thing we forgot was getting first gear back there. Oh, right. So carry on now. I'm not a very good driver at this point, am I? No, oh. you're, you're fine. I forgot to tell you. Okay. Yeah, it's my fault more than yours. But then I got you to move away in second. And I wanted mm. then to show you, oh, this is, you can move away in second. And then the oncoming car, just bad timing, meant I didn't, right. I didn't get to do that. I thought that was a good opportunity for me to help you see that you can move in second gear. So here's your nemesis, this white car. I hate this white car. Right, we're going left at the end of the road. Okay. So mirror signal left, get the clutch down now so you can go slower and get it on your half. That's it. You're not hitting this car, are you? No. You're fine. Signal will cancel, put it back on, keep it slow. Don't cross that line until you've got your gas and clutch ready. Okay, you haven't had time, that's good. You stop then. You yeah. can get your gas and bike point ready whilst you're stopped and checking. If you have to stop, it's fine. The goal is to keep it rolling if you can. Good, you're checking. Nice. I like how you kept your looks up to date there yeah. and then pull over again at the wall, as you did last time. Clutch down, should signal, there's a car coming, isn't there, in front? No one behind, but there's someone in front. Okay. And it's still a good idea to check your mirrors, mm. just in case something changes. Okay. Think and just keep your eye on them, because something could start coming up behind as you're stopping. Mm. If anything approaches you as you're stopping, pop that on. Okay. Be aware of your surroundings. So secure the car. How did that attempt feel? A bit better, but I still hate that white car. Could you see we weren't going to hit it? Yeah, I it's could tell we were a bit, we were quite far away. But just still, I don't know, in my head, just having it there and knowing that, well not knowing, but feeling that I could quite easily just go bosh, like scrape it or something, that's all kind of my fear of it. Car doesn't steer like that. <laughs> right. Steers, more like, like an S. Mm. So you're alongside the car, yeah. You're going to be fine. And I think that's the problem you want. And I've seen that before. I have seen it before. People want to get past the car fully before they start heading back. Mm. Now, because you've got the end of the road there, you really can't do that, can mm. you? So that's actually a good learning point for you to learn that, okay, I can actually steer in earlier because you're being forced to. Now, my mistake, left it in second gear. Right. You can move away in second gear. And I thought that was actually a good opportunity. What I want you to do is to move away. And I thought, oh, we've done something wrong. We've forgotten. I thought, okay, I'll just get you to move away anyway. And then I was going to say, look, you're still in second gear. You can right. still move away in second gear if mm. you hold the clutch longer. Oh, okay. It's not good for the clutch because the clutch has to do more work. Mm. It's got to bring the, the car speed up to a higher speed before you can fully release the clutch. So you're slipping the clutch for longer. Okay. And that does cause wear. So avoid it. But if you do find yourself setting off in second gear, I actually did it actually when I picked you up. You probably didn't notice. But I pulled out no. a junction and thought, oh, this is sluggish. Oh, yeah, I'm in second gear. It does happen. Sometimes I forget, but just mm. carry on. 
you can keep it going by holding that clutch there. Maybe a bit more gas will help as well. Okay. Okay, so that camera's been recording now ooh, for quite a long time. This video will be getting long, so I'm going to turn the cameras off now. Okay. Have some more practice. Right. And then, don't know what to do yet. We'll find out soon. Okay. <laughs> right. Maybe you'll get fully completed, then I'll turn the camera on. Okay. Um, or maybe we just go to jogging. We'll see. We'll see. You'll see soon too. I've said you do it. Part three of my lesson. Yeah. Is it three or is it four now? Part something of my lesson. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, we've just been practicing and Emily made an error that nearly everyone I teach makes. And sometimes it can be hard for me to stop them making that error. Yeah. And that error was? So when I got to the end of the road with the Nemesis, that white car, I just stared right... That was right. one before that, actually, wasn't it? No, it was that one, wasn't it? No, it was one before that. Oh, either way, I don't like junctions. I got to the end and yeah. I started staring right to make <clears> sure it was okay. Exactly. Then I didn't do my gear, I didn't slow down very much, I didn't yeah. do my steering, I just focused on making sure it was safe before That's doing anything right. else. So you were coming to the end of the road straight, you hadn't turned left to go around the bend, mm. you're still in second gear, yeah. you're staring right and you got down to about six miles an hour and you got to the line, no gear ready to go, no pedals ready to go, Yeah. so I stopped you at the line to show you, look, you're not ready now, we haven't done the steer. And that's because you were distracted by what's coming from the right very early on all the way there instead of focusing on driving this car. Right. And as Emily um, did drama, she has said she would like to right. act out. Because I said it'd be really helpful if people could see this error that is very common and something I have to help people with. I'm going to try anyway. You're going you're to try and do exactly what you did last time, yeah. aren't you? I'll try. We're going to do it on this junction though, not the same as last. It's the same sort of junction, but it's just this one's next. So we do it on that one. So I'm just going to trust you now to not just be like, oh well. I won't let you, I will stop. Roll off. No, I will stop you before it gets unsafe. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it, move away. I haven't done drama in Acting years skills. though. Acting skills. It's been like two years since Jesus sees though, so I'd, we'll try. You're so young. Two years, so long, it's like two years. Yeah, two years ago, when <laughs> you were 17. relatively recent. Oh, because I'm second year level now, aren't I? So, mm. that's, yeah, whatever, I don't know. Carry on when you're ready. I know, it's just different. As you get older, two years doesn't feel like a long time, but to a 17 year old, it's ages ago, isn't it? Yeah. It's like when I was 16, I was a young little one, you know? That was last year. Oh yeah, it was. That's not two years ago. That's not two years ago at all, is it? That's a year ago. I can tell I'm not very good at maths, can't I? You do A-levels maths, don't you? you see? Yeah. Oh. oh well, it's fine. Look forwards as well as backwards. Yeah. Look forwards. See? Wait for them to come past. Yeah, clutch down, don't ride the clutch, that's it. Okay. So sort of burn it out if you keep it at the bike point. That's it. And that's why you want to keep looking behind and but forwards and backwards until right. you are committed. And then when you're committed, you look forwards. Yeah. Good use of the clutch there, lovely. Too close to there. Off the gas a bit. Okay. That's it, and lift the clutch up. Yeah. Just try and feel, focus more on your steering than the gear when you change gear. Because okay. you do have a tendency to steer left a bit as you change gear. Right. Don't read that. Sounded a bit like a monkey then, didn't I? Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I didn't. <laughs> start notice. getting near the curb. A little bit close here as well. You're steering a bit too much. Okay. I'm trying to Focus. keep in like one area. Focus on your position. You, you were better. You can do it. End of the road left. So show me your acting skills. Right. So cover the braking clutch. You did slow down. No, actually, wow. that you, was were, actually good. you were faster last time. You stopped by the line <laughs> yourself. Last time you were, scared you, weren't doing anything. you were six miles an hour by the line and I had to stop you. Because I was But scared. you can see now, because you're just looking right, you haven't prepared the car, you're still in second gear. Mm. You're not pointing the correct direction. I'm pointing that way. You're not ready to go, are you? No, not at all. So don't focus on decision mm. until you've prepared the car. Well, I tried. Uh, you did, you, okay. did you did fairly well, but obviously... There's a reason I didn't get a nine. It was courage <laughs> because... Pop it in first gear, we best go. It's not behind us yet, but there will be soon. Mm. So get gas and bike point, and you can go when you're ready. Just be wary, you might use both sides of the road now with this position. Right. And that's the other problem. Well, there not... you go, more learning opportunities for everyone else. But yeah, don't do that. Don't steer right as you approach the end of the road. Focus on your car. Well, good steering. Well done. Brought that back nicely. I'm learning. Yeah, so I think it was courage. I don't think you've realised quite how bad it was last time when you were doing it. No. You didn't realise how fast you were going towards the end of the road. 
That time you, you were aware and you stopped yourself. End of the road left. This was uh, Next road left. I shouldn't have said end of the road yet. Next road left. End of the road is when you get to give way line. You see how you're mm. coming towards the curb there? Maybe come in a bit more subtly. Okay. Because now you're having to turn left straight up. Now you have to put your signal back on, don't you? But you can make this one movement. You can right. make passing that parked car and coming into this road one nice gentle curve instead of steering in, straightening up and steering again. Mm. The car's so close to the junction, I'll just do that as one. Okay. And then the signal won't cancel either. Okay, you can carry on. Right, I'm going to give you a challenge now. Challenge? Yeah. Right. Next junction, on your own. Man. Yeah. Hopefully you learnt from your previous area there of staring right and that won't happen. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see. I wish you luck. Oh, God. Promise that you'll like break or... Of course I will, of course I will. Stop me if I go far. Don't trust myself to manoeuvre like this. Yeah, they'll get out of the way. Really? Yeah, yeah, but don't steer at the curb. <laughs> because was, they weren't moving. Yeah, but they will. Below 20 miles an hour, they will. Okay. Okay, over to you. Concentrate now. End of the road left. Make sure you use gas before you lift the clutch, it will okay. struggle. So that was your first attempt on your own. Yeah. Well done. There's a okay. couple of pointers I can give you there. Okay. For that, you, you're on your way. You're getting there. Okay. Right, let's get up the second gear before we get to this little slalom. You don't have to go that fast, you can just oh. change up earlier. And now end of the road left. Okay. Don't signal now, cancel the signal. Right. Wait. Now signal, get it slow. I'll tell you why in a second. Focus on the junction now. That's it, lovely steering. Look at this. Well done, and pull it over next to the curb, next to the wall. Okay. On the wall, yeah? Yeah, but don't hit the curb. Just keep an eye on your mirrors just in case someone comes. No one's around. Secure the car? Yes, please. I think when I told you Ooh, to... What did I do? You didn't put it in neutral. Oh, sorry. So I push the clutch down. Put it out. Pull out? To neutral. That's neutral. Oh, I put in the, three. The gear stick will wiggle a bit if you... In, oh. in gear as well. My parents always told me to just wiggle it around. But it, it needs to be around a really big easily. wiggle. Oh, right. In gear, it does a little wiggle, mm. still. But the best thing to do is not be harsh with it. You're a little bit harsh with it, just pop it. Let it show you where the middle is instead of oh, manhandling it. There it is. <laughs> pop it, you'll see it pop to the middle and then you know it's in okay. neutral. And then come off the pedals. Now you've steered away from the curb a little bit here. Mm. So I'm actually just going to help a bit because we are sticking okay, out. Sorry. Partially, I could say probably partially my fault because I was telling you to keep your eye on your mirrors as you're pulling over. And that's what you started doing. Probably a bit too much. Okay, you want to sorry. be aware of what's around as you're pulling over. Absolutely. Okay. But focus mostly on where you're stopping. Mm -hmm. So now we're not. Because when you started looking at your mirrors, you started drifting to the right. Yeah. Now, you basically had two attempts there on your own. I'm really happy with this because you've pretty much got it. Right. It's slow. Mm -hmm. I'm tapping the gear stick to remind you because you're not thinking about that. Hopefully you'll... you'll that's the only thing I forget. That'll I'm become like, oh, ingrained over a bit of time, but that's another reason why you walk. So you get to the walk, mm. gear. You know each time, like walk, gear. then gear. And I do it everywhere. So I'm stopping at a queue of cars. I don't stop at the queue. I mm. slow down to a walk, walk the last car length. As I'm walking, I pop it in gear and then stop. And quite often when I'm walking, the queue starts moving again. Right. So yeah, try and do like a two-stage stop every time you stop. So okay. instead of going, I want to stop behind that fit, slow to a walk, one to two car limits back, walk, gear, and stop, and you always be in that gear. Okay. But you basically did that on your own. Well, you did Apart have to help that, me a little bit. That, that was it. The second one especially, you did that 
fully, pretty much fully on your own almost. You're, you're lifting the clutch with your foot over the brake. This car does not like that. Add power, okay. then lift clutch because it struggles. And when you go to pull out into a fast road, it might stall. Oh, right. You're not going to have power, you're not going to have speed. And you feel it struggling. If you feel the car go like that, you feel this like deep vibration in the steering wheel. That's yeah. not good. Listen to that. Okay. Um, I don't mean to give it like a little jump, a little low shelf. Yeah, it was, they were a bit harsh as well. So when you were giving it a push, mm -hmm. on the first junction you tried on your own, you're sort of lifting it quite harsh. It's like, boom, boom. Instead of a bit of gas, tiny whisker of bite point, just give it a little bit of a push, then clutch down. You're trying okay. to do it too quickly. So there's sort of tiny little shoves as opposed to gentle pushes. Right, okay. To push the car by pressing gas and lifting the clutch. Mm. One error was signalling before the white car. Right, yeah. That makes it look like you're going to park before the white car. Okay. So if ever there is a parked car before the road you're turning into, mm. get alongside the parked car first. Okay. And then signal. So they don't know I'm going to be parking. Exactly. They think, oh, around the bend. Exactly. That was good acting. Because Emily actually made that error earlier. So I can act sometimes. And she says she's going to probably try and include that in there as well to show people. Let's see. Well done. I yeah. can act sometimes. My seven in drama is coming in clutch here, apart from for the year. But so the main thing is you understand why it's important not to signal yeah. before a car, before the junction. Get alongside it. The first attempt you did, very good, good speed, got your gear ready. Again, it's slow, doesn't matter. With practice, you'll get quicker. But at okay. least you're able to do it mm. without me having to tell you what to do you didn't steer not until you went over the line oh right so when you got to the mouth you didn't steer so it went straight 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 and then you steered later it wasn't as much of an issue because there was that truck mm. meaning going a bit steering a bit late there kind of makes a bit of sense but it still was late um, but on the second attempt you did steer okay because that weird truck whatever that is van thing because that's so in the way you can't see round can't, it's like, really I don't want to be able to have to be weaving around as much I don't really but you're also learning peeping and creeping here without realising it because that is peeping and creeping. When you can't see past something, we'll come to that later. We're sort of mm -hmm. doing it now. I just haven't made an issue. I haven't made it a topic. Right. When you can't see past an object, you just go really slowly until you can, then continue. Okay. There was that occasion when we did it where there was a car coming in the end, but by the time we saw that car, we were in the way, weren't we? Yeah. And they were coming at us quite quick and I was thinking, why is that happening? And that's because they were wanting to take the road. I don't know if they were signalling or I missed their signal. They weren't signalling until they were pretty much turning in, so well, that's why I was that, confused That's why I was thinking, why are they coming at us? I'm thinking, the only place we can pass you is that gap on the left. Mm -hmm. So that's where I was trying to get you to get to. And then they got coming even more, and I thought, oh, no, they, they're not letting us get in that gap. So that's why I then stopped you, and then they went oh, into right. that road on the left. Uh, an earlier signal from them would then be helpful for, for us to know what they're intending to do, and be like, ah, they're going into that road, we'll hold back. No, they didn't see us until that bit then. Mm, we, we, thought, oh, we were head on around. with each other but I better turn the cameras off and I think this is at a stage now where you can practice it okay. whilst we're practicing jogging right so we're going to learn to jog now okay that's fine we've just changed location so that Emily can learn how to jog and I'm going to get her to do her first jog on camera now she has done some jogging junctions where she's left the clutch up and rolled in but that's not the difficult bit Mm. The thing you need to learn with jogging is when you're at speed, slowing the car down, getting into a lower gear, getting the clutch up in that lower gear nicely, right. uh, jerking the car, and then doing the jogging junction. If you're already slow, jogging junction is very easy. Okay. But if you're at speed, that's where it becomes more difficult. So mm. we come to a more main road. I'd say you've graduated to this road now. You are, I trust you oh. more with more traffic. Oh, I like that road though. Flowing traffic as well because you can steer accurately and you have the basics of junctions down. Mm. So we're not gonna be a big hazard for other road users. Okay. First thing is you've used first and second gear. Have you used third yet? No. Okay, push the clutch down then. Pop it in first. Keep the clutch down this whole time. Don't look down, look out the window. Yep. Hands on the wheel. Without looking down into second and then into third. More gentle. That okay. could easily be first or fifth. It is third, but the way you did that is a bit risky. Okay. So go to second that. now, look out the front window, okay. pull it back gently to fit it pop, then fully left and then back. Okay, so two problems there. Mm. One is when you pulled it back, you pushed it into fourth slightly. Let it show you where the middle is. And when you go left, don't pull it back before you go left. Okay. And then when you did pull it back, you stopped pushing it left. So you, you nearly got fourth again. I saw the gear stick go a little bit to the right towards fourth, but mm -hmm. you did keep the clutch down. You did just about get it into second. Yeah. So watch me. 
A lot of people say the palming technique, but there's loads of different techniques, but I think I'm, what I'm trying to do now is help Emily understand the gear stick. How she holds it, I'm not too fussed about as long as it's good. So, see it pop to the middle? Yep. It shows you where the middle is. Mm. Listen to it, then forwards again. Right. Some people find if they let go of the gear stick when they get to the middle, then they know it's definitely the middle, and then left, hold it fully left, and then back for second. Okay. Did you see that? I'll do yeah. it again. So forwards, it shows me the middle. Yeah. It sh I'm, not, I'm not telling it with them, I'm not doing this. It's showing me the middle, third. Mm. Every time any car that'll work, as long as it's not broken. Sometimes it's broken, it doesn't spring to the middle. Mm. Then you've got to get that sorted out. So right. pull it back, it's popped in the middle, fully left. Don't come away like you did and pull it back. So you might get fourth, hold it fully left. Okay. And then it will go back into second. Okay. So look out the front window, try. Yep. So push it forward, so it pops to the middle and then forward again. Good, but when you're pushing it forward, you were holding it left. Was I? Yeah, just let okay. it pop to the middle. Now pull it back, don't hold it left or right, just pull it back, let it pop to the middle. Good, now hold it left to get second. And second. Just back, there you go. Okay. Now push it forwards, let it pop to the middle, let go of it in the middle, there you go, now forwards again. Definitely third. It's shown you where third is. Yeah. Listen to it. Okay. Now let it show you where neutral is, pull it back gently so it pops. There it is now fully left and then hold it left as you bring it back so it doesn't go in the fourth, it goes in the second. If you don't hold it left, it might go in the fourth. Okay. But when you're pushing to neutral, you don't need to push it side to side, just push it forwards or backwards, whichever way it is, towards neutral and let it show you. Okay. To neutral and then forwards and then back to second. That's going to be reliable. Okay. Into neutral. When you're doing it, what a lot of people do wrong, he can come for clutch, now rest oh. your foot, is when they're pulling it back, they don't let it pop to the middle, they pull it back hard and they go in the fourth. Right. And then they're trying to push it left from fourth to get the second. Can you so, not do that? No. Oh, right. When it's in fourth, it's, you've got to go neutral to change gear. Okay. You can't change a gear without going to neutral first. Oh, right. Uh, technically, when you go from first to second, you're holding it left, mm. but as you pull it out of first, it is neutral. To the left and middle is still neutral. Oh. And then you hold left and pull it into second. Oh, okay. Like, just one more go. Now it's been about 30 seconds. Look out the front window, clutch down, third gear. Okay, second gear. Third gear. Good, you're letting go of it and letting it show you the middle. Yeah. Again, second gear. Make sure you release pressure in the middle so it shows you. That's it, then left, and there you go. And then neutral again. Good. So try not to go into fourth when you're going between three and two. Okay. That's the common mistake. You can come off the clutch now. So now you've got that done. So there's two lessons in one here, learning to change up to higher gears and get higher speed, but also then get down speed and down gears. I'll talk you through the jogger. This is the okay. first time Emily's ever done it on camera. Do you want to see how it goes? Yeah, might as well. We've got to get up to third gear and a little bit faster before we can do this. If we're staying in second gear and going slow, then we're not going to be able to slow down and change gear. What's the speed for them for them for the gear 2000 revs ish okay i wouldn't go by speed every car's different listen to the engine when the engine's a bit loud and it sounds like it can take the next gear then go up the gear okay it's always going to be different but usually you could a lot of people say first gear is 10 up to 10 second gear is up to 20 two for 20 third mm. gear three for up to 30 very rough crude guide that will not allow you to get the most out of the car but you will be okay in most cars okay best to listen to the engine okay um so, you ready? Yeah. I'll talk you through. See if you follow the talk through. Okay. I'm not giving you a briefing of how to do it. I'm just going to tell you what to do. So, do you want me to take off? You're going to yeah. move away. You're going to get up to speed. But when it comes to the junction, I'll tell you what to do with those pedals. Okay. Can I do that on my own? Can I get off my own? I'll jump, yeah, yeah. Do the you've been everything. doing that for a while now. Definitely. I walk through everything. You've tell me everything from the beginning. No, no, no. Oh, damn oh. it. Okay. You can do that. I don't need to do that anymore. You can move away. You can change up the second. I might help you get the third. Uh, yeah, need some help I'm going to be helping you slow down and do the junction. That's the, that's the new thing here. We've okay. got more traffic now, haven't we? Mm. Yeah. Loads of it. So signal right as you go. There's an oncoming car there. Let's check your blind spot again. It's getting a bit old. And try and move with a new blind spot. There it is. Lovely. Focus on your position. Dandelions. I thought they came out in spring. I'm already paying attention to the flowers. Yeah. I can't lie. Cancel the signal now and go up the second gear. I'm pretty sure yellow was spring, not autumn. It's not autumn, it's summer, isn't it? August. Lift the clutch up, carry on before that person gets to the zebra. A little bit faster. Yeah, it's, it's getting that way though, isn't it? I suppose it's still summer. A little bit faster. Now, 
into third, exactly the same as second, but you're just moving the gear stick in a different place. Focus on your steering as well. Lovely, we're done. Clutch up to the bite point. Now cover brake and clutch. Your first attempt at jogging. We're going left, next road left. Mirror signal left. Hold the brake steady, a little bit of brake. Slow it down, clutch down. Into second. Now come off the brake, because you're slow enough. You're at 10 miles an hour. You want to get down to about 10. Clutch up gently. And now you are jogging. Right. So come off the clutch, but cover it. Cover the brake and clutch just in case you need to go slower. Difficult turn, try your best. Quite a tight road, this. Give me your best shot. Oh yes, that was good. Little bit right at the end there. Okay. The start was brilliant. You just need a little bit more steer as you're going around. You okay. come off those pedals now and just use the gas. Relax in your seat. And we're going to practice that. You come off okay. the brake when you're at about 10. Okay. It's not in relation to the clutch. You know, you might still be lifting the clutch and if you're at 20 miles an hour, stay on the brake and still be slowing down. Okay. But you don't want to go much slower than 10 because the second gear will struggle. Right. Can you see past the parked car up ahead? Yeah. Aim for a roundup. Yeah, but check your mirrors and go past it. Okay. Do I have to signal when you go past something or not? No, no, because there's a road on the other side of the road, isn't there? Mm. And that oh, doesn't look like right. you're turning in there. And those people walking and I think you're turning in there, people behind, people in front. And the people in front will keep coming because they think we're going in there. Yeah. You signal for what's not obvious. Okay. And everyone expects you to go around a parked car. Mirrors to come back. You can signal to go around a parked car if in that position, if that circumstance, you think, oh, this is actually going to help someone. But yeah. generally, just check your mirrors and drive around them. Okay. Signal for putting over and taking junctions. Mm. Uh, right, so end of the road, left. Can you do this? It's a walker. If you can walk and you can jog, you can do all of them. Signal. It's kind of a good bit chill. slower. Bit slower. Give yourself time to get gear. Gear. Give yourself time to get your pedals whilst you check. Okay. Good. Just you let the car roll over the line before you got gas and clutch there. Oh, sorry. You took too long with the pedals. Okay. I think you can do it quicker than that. If you did that a bit more quickly. That would have been easier for you because mm -hmm. you sort of went over that line. Thought, oh, good, you're going to go, but then you took quite a long time to do the pedals and we're sort of sort of coasting the road a bit. Okay. Confidence, I think. Love Confidence it. with doing your pedals. Mm. Got another one soon. Okay. So, um, good position around here. Well done. Cheers. Yeah, nice. You're at least a drain whip from the curb there. You're not getting close to the curb. Hear the engine? Yeah. That's the sound. That's about two grand, 2,000 revs ish. I can't see them from here, but I think it's around there. Mm. And then when you hear that sound again, that means you go up to the next gear. And the faster you want to go, the louder you make the engine. Okay. If you want to go fast, make it loud. Go up to third now. Okay. Now, come off the clutch, cover brake and clutch. Slow down a little bit with the brake. That's it, now clutch down. Go to second. Doing it on the bend now, see? Mm -hmm. Clutch up carefully. And that's jogging now, isn't it? Yeah. And the road bends to the right here. See the road marking? So bend yeah. it to the right, come off the clutch fully, let it pull you along and steer around the bend. So you, so you jogged for the bend that time. Yeah. So that was another go at jogging. It's about slowing down and changing down to the gear at the same time. You can use yeah. a little bit of gas if you want. It helped you with the steering that time because you were concentrating yeah. on your gear. I understand. So um, end of the road left, another walker. Okay. Slow down a bit because that oncoming car quite close to the curb. You need my help or can you do it? If it's a walker, I think I can do it myself. I'll try. If do something you goes best. wrong, though. Do you? Of course. If I'm here to stop things going wrong. Look and steer. Oh. If you're starting to get a bit weaker with that, mm -hmm. you need to make sure you're looking and steering. Fine, to go. A little bit too much steering there. Yeah. Now you took a little bit long pulling out there, didn't you? That's what yeah. we need to work on. And although, it was fine to go when you started because you took too long. Yeah. Cars come from the distance and now they're behind you and they're not very happy. No. Are they? So just moderate your acceleration there, clutch okay. the bike point. And that's why it's important to make sure when you make the decision to go, you go. Yeah. Don't take ages. You're starting to coast a little bit. Okay. You need to work on that. So off the power, next road left. Good, that's mirror signal. This is a jogger, leave the clutch up. What gear are you in? Two. You're already into, aren't you? You're already jogging with the clutch up. Easy peasy. No one's crossing the road. No. Nope. Good, you're looking, you're observing. 
and now carrying up the road. In fact, actually, you pull over at the side of the road. It's a mirrors signal. So it's an oncoming car. Mm. Give me your best lineup. The best one. Yeah, it's your best best stop position. This is getting better. Okay. Secure. Mhm. Mm Always. I'm waiting for you. When you've done that. There we go. Yeah, good. You listen to it that time. Listen to the middle. And I'll show you your distance. Look at that. That is getting better. Oh, yeah. Smaller. I don't want to let it get too much smaller than that. Okay. A little bit maybe, but once you start getting much smaller, when you start getting like this far away from the curb, mm -hmm. you're starting to be risking it now. You're just going to hit it sometimes. You damage yeah. wheels and tyres. Okay. So how do you find that? Absolutely terrifying. Why is that then? Because I was going fast. You're in and it, third I was, gear. I was fast. I was with like other members of the public on the road, yeah. on a main road, which I'd never done before. So it was just a bit kind of, I was confident that I wouldn't crash into anyone or I would be able to go, but I was kind of just scared that other people around me might be like, oh, learner. And when people overtook me as well, that's when I started to get a bit shaky. So I was scared I was going to be like, oh no. So, a bit scary. In my opinion, for me, you have immunity from that. All right. Like you, you're a learner driver, take your time. We're still in a relatively quiet area. I'm let you go in a more busy area now because you're safe. Mm. But if your main concern is holding up other cars, that's going to stop you from learning. You're always going to hold up cars a bit. That's why mm -hmm. I started you off in the nursery area mm. and we're taking to somewhere else quiet to do the left turns. Yeah. So we're not causing too much disrupt disruption. Mm -hmm. But a learner driver is always going to cause a little bit of disruption. You can't get rid of, rid of it completely. Don't. That's why I say that's my responsibility. Okay, so I just ignore them. You holding people up. That's down to me of where I take you for your level. That's mm. on me. Okay. Um, legally, you're driving, so actually legally you're responsible. Mm. But for the purpose of learning to drive, your driving instructor is responsible for making sure they take you somewhere safe mm -hmm. that you can handle. I think I can handle it, it's just scary. Would you say now if you went back to the nursery area you'd still find that scary? No. There you go. Just give it time. So the biggest problem I found there was actually you, you followed the jog well, not well. You've mm. got to slow it down with the brake, hold the brake, change the second gear. Yeah. But it's actually on the walkers. When you're pulling out, you're taking too long. And even though, yeah, it looks safe, you can go. Yeah. You took so long pulling out, someone started coming and they sort of got up the speed and slowed back down again behind you. And we've barely pulled out into the road, haven't we? So you yeah. need to get quicker at that. And that's what we're going to practice now. Okay. You need more confidence with those pedals. Mm. So clutch down, first gear. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. Handbrake off. And we're not going to go fast. See those yellow lines? Yeah. We're going to try and start and stop four or five times before we get to those yellow lines. We're just going to move the car and stop, move the car and stop, move the car and stop to right. give you, not yet, to give you practice gas and bike point. Okay. Start with off gas so that you can do both. Okay. Okay, so do you know what I'm asking you to do? You think you've got it? Like the little. Not a jolt, but like kind of go and stop and go. You're going to try and set off and then stop the car. Okay. I'll tell you what to do and see how it goes. And then, and then I'll see if I need to give you extra ex explanation. Okay. We'll just try this. So anyone coming? No. Blind spot, gas oh. and bite point. Three, two, one, zero. Stop, clutch down. Took too long. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. So anyone coming? No. Blind spot. Yep. Three, Two, one, clutch down and stop. Okay, better. You got the point. Clutch down and brake. Don't look at me though. Okay. Keep looking at your mirrors. So mm -hmm. that's what I want you to do. I want you to check round, check your blind spot and get the car moving without mm -hmm. going like this with the pedals for 20 seconds. Yeah. You don't need to do that. You've got more skill than that. I know you've got more skill than that. You just got to trust yourself. Gas, lift, clutch, you'll go. Okay. So when I, once you've checked your blind spot, you start looking behind and do your pedals together. Okay. So ready? Yeah. Anyone behind? No. Nope. Blind spot? Yep, fine. Three, two, yes, you see? You did it, didn't you? Yeah. Don't want to break that hardly though. Maybe move a little bit further than that. Okay. Okay, that was just the time, but how long did it take you to get gas and clutch there? Less than three seconds. You should. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Anyone coming? Nope. So signal, three, okay. Yeah, you definitely want the right signal, not the left, Yeah. because of the oncoming car. So if when right. you look and you observe, you see anyone around, mm -hmm. you signal and do your pedals. Okay. Okay, so anyone coming? Yeah, then. Blind spot? 
signal then, and three, two, one, and we're off. See, you can do it. Yeah. Cancel the signal. Two more times. Two more times. And then on the lot, and then we'll do a third time where we actually set off properly and drive up the road. Okay. So foot on the brake, weight on the brake, okay. and part of it is going off the brake to the gas and lifting the clutch. Do you mean to wait actually like put the brake down? Yes, because okay. generally speaking, when you're stopped, you're going to be on the brake or handbrake up. You don't okay. want no brake on, so we'll be off the brake, gas and lift clutch. Okay. So you're moving on, moving on to the next step now because before I was getting you to come off the brake to see if it will roll, mm -hmm. add gas and then lift clutch. I think you're ready to move on to the next step. We'll just keep your foot on the brake, and when you're ready to go, you do it pretty much together. Okay. Right. You won't get it right all the time, but with practice, you will. Okay. Anyone coming? No. Three, two, one. Lovely. See, you've got, you've got the skill. Okay. You've got the skill. Trust yourself. We do one more dummy and then the third one will be we'll set off and drive up the road. Okay. Okay. Anyone coming? No. Signal needed? No. Three, two, one. Lovely. See? Have confidence. This time we're going to move off for real. Okay. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Keep your foot on the brake. When you think it's safe, okay. we go. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. I thought we were going to do a countdown this time. No, no. I'm not saying anything. Start again. I'm not saying... This is you now. Okay. You see? Yeah. That's carrying on the road. Don't have to make moving away difficult. Doesn't have to take a long time. Cancel ticker. That's it. Change gear. Once you hear that engine and we want to do another jogger so if we can get a bit more speed we have got to slow back down again okay so a bit more gas now you start to hear the engine up to third steer as well lovely use of the gear stick really gentle really like that now cover the brake and clutch we're taking the next row on the left so mirror signal slow it down with the brake and at the same time as doing that get second gear by pushing the clutch down Come off the brake now, you're starting to get slow enough, you're starting to get near mm -hmm. 10 miles an hour, and lift the clutch to the bike point. And then come off the clutch once you've paused at the bike point for a second or two, and you yeah. get down in gear. Can you do your steer? Okay, really good ending. Concerned me a bit at the beginning, because you steered a bit before the turn there. Right. Just a bit, and sort of went towards the kerb. Okay. We were okay though, I did have to look. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. That's where lifting yourself up can help sometimes. So slow down a bit, brake. Brake more. Well. Yep. Yeah. Clutch down. I've got to wait for this oncoming car. I'm just going to use a bit of brake here. Okay. Because you want to stay a couple of car limits back like this. Okay. Now first gear. Keep the clutch fully down. When they're gone, gas lift clutch like you've been doing as you check your mirrors. You can do it. Check your mirrors and go. Steer around the car. See, that's quicker, isn't it? Yeah. You can move away. There's another car in the distance. If you're smart now, check your mirrors to come back to your side. If you stay slow, you won't have to stop before the next car. Try to stay near the middle of the road though, but not in the way. You don't want to look parked. Mm. Car behind is not wanting to wait, so he's going past you. So yeah. let's move to the right here like this. Cover brake and clutch. And hopefully by the time you get here, it's all moving again. You see, you're staying yeah. to the right, so it's obvious what you're doing. Don't look parked. Yeah. Mirrors to go around the car. Press the power and go. And because you've managed to keep the clutch up, it's easier to get going. Yeah. So a bit more power, let's get going. Don't want to stay slow here, because we're just waiting for another car to come, aren't we? Let's get past these cars, and then up a gear, and then mirrors to come back. Now you've got to be careful in case someone's coming past these cars. We can't see yet, can we? So we'll stay yeah. slow for a bit. Now you can see no one's coming? No, I can, yeah. You can go. If not, we'd have to let people finish, if they've okay. already committed the passing. Off the power now. End of road left. When you get to the line, you must mm. have power. Okay. Over to you, end of the road left. There's a line in the middle, there's a line at the end. I don't care how long you take though, as you approach the line. Do I need to change gears? You will need first gear, yeah. So tr treat it like a walker. Focus on your position. You're going into the middle of the road a bit, aren't you? Brake a little bit, give yourself time. That's it. Anyone coming? Nope. You can do your pedals, you can do them quickly. Steer this way. Oh, that way? Yeah. You're, you're, oh, you're, sorry, I thought I that you're way. going left, you're indicating sorry. left. Carry on. I wasn't ready to let you go right there. I hadn't thought about going right, so I had to make sure you went left. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. I just, for some reason, I thought you went right. I was like, oh dear. That's all right. Don't worry. And then carry on up the road. Put that in the pass. Focus forwards. Okay. 
Did I say right? I hope not. I don't know. It's having a bit of a silly moment there. That's okay. Yeah, I won't let you go the wrong way if I'm not prepared for it, because I'm okay. thinking it could be someone overtaking us or something else going on. I was ready mm -hmm. for us to turn left, so I'll make sure we went left. Okay. So up to third, and you'll be able to practice, practice your jogging again. Okay. Good. Now cover brake. Try to brake now gently as you change down a gear. Going down a gear is hard on the clutch, so off the brake before too slow. Keep the clutch down though. Yep. Because you are in fourth. Okay. Try to move the gear stick to two. As you steer, now steer and get two. That's it, don't steer too much. Now lift the clutch up carefully. No gas needed. Yeah. As you are going down a gear there. Okay. So take your time with the gear stick there. You rushed it a bit. Mm -hmm. That's why you got fourth. Okay. Most common error for changing down is getting fourth instead of second. Middle, let go, left and back. Okay. Where's the road this go? Way. It right. does. Look at the road markings. This way. That's correct. A little less steering there, I think maybe. Okay. End of the road left. Use a little use a little bit of gas here so we can get a bit further down the road. And it's a walker again. Good, you're starting to do it. Do you want help from me? No. Okay. Don't worry if you're early, as long as you're safe. You'll get better with practice with how long it takes you to do it. Safe to go. Okay, good. A little bit late with your steering there, weren't you? Yeah. But you're much quicker with your pedals. Take that. I can see an improvement. I think if you did that another 20 times, you'll be doing really well. Only 20. It doesn't take long. Next road left. Jogger or walker? Jogger. So clutch goes down or stays up? Up. What, what gear are you in? Two. So down. No, no, no you, you want to. Yeah. You can jog in two. That's good. If it was really narrow and difficult, you'd want one. Okay. But you can you can roll. You're doing seven miles now. This is easy. Yeah. You can do that. And then you can pull over near the yellow flowers. Remember your mirrors and signal to the cars in front of you there. And um, you'll be able to have a little rest. Okay. But make sure you do something before you properly rest. All right, this is going to be a long video, isn't it? I'm yeah. Gonna, I better wrap this one up now, I think. Oh no, how sad. Oh my goodness, that's terrifying. You can see though that you have more skill at moving away than you thought. You were scared and you were so careful with those pedals, but after doing it a few times, you could just gas and lift clutch and go. Mm -hmm. You can do that. And at junctions, that's going to help you a lot because you're making a decision to go at junctions, but then you're not pulling away. Mm -hmm. You did much better with that one though. Okay. With that one, you did actually, you did coast over the line a little bit. So we want to sort of minimise that and have the pedals ready before the line. Yeah. But you only did that a little bit. That was much better than last time. Okay. Just want to get that gas and clutch before the line and keep it left. Because once you checked right, you stopped doing your steering. And your steering to begin with was brilliant, but mm. then you checked right to see what was coming. Yeah. And then didn't add any more steer until you were sort of out in the road and getting near the other side of the road now to correct yourself. Yeah. And bring it back. Have okay. you found this lesson helpful? Yeah. Yeah? Terrifying, but yeah, very helpful. You're on the main road now, aren't you? It's still fairly quiet. Yeah. Um, and the next goal is to, just to practice that a bit more and get you independent. Once you can jog, mm. once you can walk, I can trust you a lot more to go more places. Okay. Because I can focus more on other things to help you with, knowing mm. that you've got the junctions. I can just say, look, right. end of the road left, is that a jogger or is that a walker? You'll say, walker, jogger. If you say jogger and it's a walker, I say no, it's a walker. You know what to do, you can walk it. And we're not trying to, I'm not having to speak so much and overload you with information. You're doing it more for yourself. You're actually learning to do it yourself. Don't worry that you were really slow approaching that last one and early. Okay. When you're learning, if you need to be really slow to complete it, be really slow. Mm -hmm. Because I find when people are like that, as long as they do it well, once they start doing it well, even if they're slow and stop early, they mm. soon start to stop later and do it yeah. as they get more skill with the pedals, more confidence. Mm. But be as slow as you need to be to begin with to get it. 
Okay. Okay, so we'll finish the video here. If you found <gasps> the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for car insurance, check out the links to Collingwood and Confused in the description. If you're learning to drive and want to insure yourself on somebody else's car, then Collingwood are there for you because you can do so without affecting the owner's policy and that takes away a big stress from the owner of that car. Via the link at the moment, there's up to 35% off and a £20 Amazon gift card. If you want to insure your own car, I recommend checking out linkedconfused.com because you fill out one quote form and get loads of quotes back from many insurers to compare who's cheapest. And you can change your car on that quote as many times as you like without having to do the whole quote. So it's an easy, quick and easy way to compare how much it costs uh, to insure different cars. Using the links doesn't cost you anything, but it does support this channel. So thank you very much. Subscribe to get my future videos. And until the next one, thank you very much. Did you say cheerio? I did, didn't I? Well, I'm losing it. I haven't had breakfast this morning. Neither have I. Cheerio.